What's up everybody? It's day two of the mountain lion hunt here in Arizona. Uh, it is like 4.30 in the morning. Uh, my dad just went to the lobby to get some coffee. And uh, they'll be here to pick us up in about uh, 10 minutes. So Bluffs again and ran right back down the track for 400 yards that's when you guys got there and called me so the only downfall this morning is that it's snowing so what Shane was telling me Shane's a bad dude he ran nine miles through the mountains yesterday chasing that lion I don't know if I can keep up with that so these cats move at night and if if a cat were to move at like nine o'clock last night um, this snow's just filling its tracks up so we won't ever see its track um, so we won't ever know if uh, if that cow was around in the area that we're going to be traveling or not, but uh, hopefully we, uh, hopefully the snow stops or we catch a fresh track that is just from this morning. But uh, we're about to get on the road and see what happens. They got about the same size foot as an elk, really, but they walk completely different. And those, uh, so that cat's going to pick their foot up. Like with an elk, you're going to see a drag mark coming out of each track. They're dragging their feet. They're dragging their feet. Where a lion, had, a lion picks their foot up and puts their foot straight down on the snow, so it's more just holes. Yeah. It's yesterday's track, so um, it's going off. It's going off in that hole down there to uh, in between me and you right now. But it's yesterday's track. It's got snow in it. Um, so these guys weren't hunting. Think he can trail it? I'm gonna run down this and see. Um, I can't tell how big the track is, of course, but it's, uh, it's headed west, going down off in there. So I'm gonna run down and see if it crosses back in that saddle or something. And then uh, if you want to trickle over in here behind me, we'll see where I cut it. It's not, but um, if you come up that road that goes down that fence line and hits this road from where you're at, it's not going to be two or three hundred yards from this intersection to the south. Guys, we finally cut a track. It's from yesterday, so we're going to run this road down and see if we can't find it if it crossed again. And my dad and Van are, how far do you think they are from us? Van and them guys? Yeah. The flies are only about a mile and a half from us, but they're around and down off this. So they're around the bend, down a canyon. You know how that goes. See if we can't get a fresh track on this cat. Yeah. Sorry guys. Maybe we just did. All our dogs. And then come back up. Alright guys, we cut a track, baby. It's a female and a tom running together. So uh, we're gonna run down the road a little ways and uh, call her the dogs up, come back and hopefully they uh, tree them up for us. Batteries died in and I forgot to order them and you can't they're a 3.6 volt double A and you can't get them anywhere you gotta order them. Oh that is awesome. That's a big one. Dogs are on the track. Me and Brad are absolutely pumped. So, so this cat took a big circle down in this bottom. The dogs led it back to this track that's going in this way. So uh, we're going to back up to where that track's going into these woods and Abby. Abby, come. hopefully get on one. Abby. 
As Shane's out with the dogs, uh, he just radioed to us, said there's tracks going left and right, up and down. So we're going back to where we originally let the dogs out. And uh, he's following the freshest track back up to where we were. So uh, we're gonna head up there and see what happens. He told us to stay at the truck. He's trying to get the dogs right on the right track. Hopefully he's on the right track now and uh, we'll catch up with him up there and hopefully get the dogs uh, get the dogs going and get one treat up before it gets too late. Good day. Odd horses running around. Back at the old hotel. Uh, dogs lost the track. It was a the one that we thought we had found ended up being uh, just as old as the ones they were on before. So sun came out, snow started melting. So he said we'll pack it up for today and uh, try again in the morning. He said everything will freeze over again. Hopefully we get a little bit of snow tonight. It's calling for two inches, so we'll see. But we're gonna hang out the rest of the day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning number two, guys. It's not snowing. Is it? Do you know if it's below freezing? Right now it's 30. So it's probably probably 28 up in the mountain where we're going to hunt. So everything probably froze over. So cross your fingers. Hope we find a track, and uh, we're gonna get after it. We've been trying real hard guys. Conditions are not cooperating with us and neither are the cats I guess, but we still got a few hours for the day so still trying to find a track and uh, put the dogs on them. We'll see what happens. Well guys, the uh, rain has really messed up our hunting trip. Called Van this morning about four o'clock, it was pouring down rain. He called the hunt off for today, so we still got three days left. Um, so we're just hanging out today, but there's a ski mountain about an hour away, so we're gonna go have some fun. That's what you do when, uh, when hunting doesn't go as planned. Make the best of it, and uh, hopefully we'll get a cat whenever the weather gets better. It doesn't look like it's moving. Barely. I know it is, but. Well, we made it to Sunrise Park Resort. I didn't know there was ski mountains in Arizona, but I guess there is. So, I'm gonna go up in this rental shop and see what we can do today. There ain't nothing else to do. Is there a kid in there? Will they do skis today? Should I do the ski bike or what? Snowboard or skis, leave a comment. Ski bike, snowboard or skis. So apparently on that bike deal, you have to be certified and take a four hour course. So we're out on that. So I think we're gonna go get, they're gonna ski. I'm probably gonna snowboard. You ready for serious, Brad? Oh yeah, back flips. 12.15 to get the half day ticket, so we still got 15 minutes. Remember using these when I was a little kid, but I I don't remember the last time. What you did, just do it like that? And then, yep. This is old school right here. Let's go ski. Thumbs up. 
Yeah, where that powder was. This one right here. Let's go though. Split, split the lift and try that out. That's where all that powder is at. Yeah. You want to try that out? Turn it on! What are you doing? I'm trying to stop. I can't, I can't film and ski this powder. Is it on? Yeah. Here, let me see it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just do it like they do on the movies. I can't wedge in this. Yes, oh, you got it. They don't know how to ski ride in powder. Look at that snowball. Just do, do, do. Oh, man. I'm going to have fun in it. I just busted bad. Oh. We did we did not come prepared to snowboard. This is some good snow. Huh? That was a leg burn. <laughs> That was fun. Oh, I'm out on that. <laughs> will not go back down there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, drop a big thumbs up if you like this. Going fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, how would y'all hold up if we we're chasing a lion for four miles in the snow? Different story. I wouldn't be on skis. <laughs> <laughs> it's really thick for skis for me. That is that is for all. That is really thick powder yeah i'm not good enough to go on that that's a good shot i've ever been i had no idea there was this much snow in arizona Brad, you gonna hit it? Guys, that is a wrap for my skiing career for a couple weeks. Leave it in the comments if you like watching this stuff because I'm going to uh, New Mexico in a week or so on a hunt and there's a mountain right next to it. Well, I'm completely worn out from skiing today. It was fun and uh, Looks like we got some new land to hunt tomorrow that hadn't even been uh, it hadn't even been snowed on at all this year. So it's dry ground. He said it's just as good as powder snow. So uh, we'll be up at four o'clock in the morning. And uh, man, I want to get a cat in the tree, but. Rain in it, we need it.
I can smell it, you can't. Well, as you can see, I'm home. We did not get a cat. Uh, super bummed about that, but that's all right. We're 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 going back up there in a couple weeks. When the snow all melts, we're gonna hunt some dry ground. He said he can put us on some cats whenever it's all dry, so we had a great time. Um, I love hunting like that. Hunting with dogs is, you can't beat it. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a little while since I uploaded uh, until now, but Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.